I'm honored to introduce the chief guest. He's no stranger to me, my good friend and college mate, Mr. Dilip Dhabira, a great entrepreneur. The introduction here says chairman of George Stewart, but he has started many companies, I think very famous for there are a group of companies. Mr. Dilip Javira is actually a great entrepreneur and started his, his, his businesses while he was an undergraduate. A very inspiring life story. I don't have the time to tell you, but let me invite him to share some of his interesting thoughts and experiences when he speaks today. Mr. Dilit Javira is a Sri Lankan corporate leader with over three decades of experience building businesses that have grown to enjoy industry leadership. He's the group chairman of George Stewart and Company, Sri Lanka's oldest mercantile establishment in which he took a controlling interest in 2011. He also sits on the boards of Citrus Leisure, Citrus Hotels, as you probably know, and Colombo Land and Development Company, which are listed on the Colombo Stock Exchange. He first rose to prominence in the advertising industry by co-founding Triad Private Limited in 1993. Triad is Sri Lanka's largest and most awarded communications entity today and is the single largest indigenous, indigenous provider of brand building, advertising, and creative services through its extensive diversification into many related services. Mr. Jayavira is, a, is the chairman of Powerhouse Private Limited, the holding company of Derana, Sri Lanka's preeminent media offering with a wide presence across multiple platforms. He also established Liberty Publishers Private Limited, which is the publisher of two national broadsheets, papers, the Singhala language daily, Aruna, and the weekly English language, The Morning. Mr. Dilit Javira, I don't think he practices though now, is uh, holds LLB from University of Colombo and an MBA from University of Wales and is an attorney at law. I now invite Mr. Jayavira to deliver the convocation address. Thank you. Good morning, uh, my dear friend, Vice Chancellor, Professor Lalit Gamage, and the rest of the academic staff. And the very lucky graduates of uh, SLITT, the SLIT as I call it. Uh, and I believe that this is a very, very proud moment for myself, for, for me to be here uh, and um, deliver this convocation speech, which is going to be very short. Uh, Lalit. Uh, as I call him. As he mentioned, he is a college mate of my, my alma mater, St. Aloysius College Gaul, and uh, he is, uh, other than for being my true good friend, and has given lots of us uh, inspiration and direction to be successful. So my convocation speech should not be forgotten uh, that's my hope and expectation. Uh, can I take this off? Uh, so in that belief, I would like to take to you two, as they sometimes mention in convocation speeches globally, case studies. 
in his generous introduction, he mentioned about me as a great entrepreneur. Uh, I humbly would like to accept that because we have um, uh, studied then local universities, as we call it. Uh, my friend is from the, uh, the famous Moroto University. I am from a Columbia University. So we have been in entrepreneurs during our, our own university days. Having said that, while taking the, that sort of credit, uh, very humbly, I also must take, and I also must take a better case study for me to share with you and for you to remember. Because after graduating, and from a great university institution like SLIT, I believe you have a great opportunity and a responsibility at the same time to be extraordinary in the society, not just ordinary. Many graduate, only some shine. I want you all to be in that, or at least some of you all to be in that, the shining category in the society. Hence, it is important that you understand why it is important and it is great to be graduated from SLIT. So let me explain why you have all the right to think that you can be great, not just ordinary. See, as I am a communications person, I observe that there are here and there controversies in media about slit. And I am not hesitant to take this as the, the example, though it is little controversial. Why it has happened so? I know my friend, uh, Professor Lalit Gamage, for many, many years, over 30 decades, is a proud member of not just our alumni, uh, St. Lausius, is a proud member of a Gaul Club, which we have formed with six schools together, uh, popular schools, so-called popular schools in Gaul. So we are very proud of him. And I want to take him as a case study. Why would I have to go to other countries, other success stories? See, for one to produce 20,000 graduates to this country, and maybe 12 uh, undergraduates at the moment going through these courses, if I am not mistaken. It's a great institute. No ordinary man can think of a concept of this nature. So it is not just entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, as we know, is the ability to take risks. But not just risks. It's driven by philosophy. It's driven by commitment. It's driven by dedication. And these are visionary leaderships this country has produced. Therefore, you have all the right to think beyond Think beyond to create things. Because this is a creation of our times that Sri Lanka will always cherish and be proud of. So had you gone to another university, you would not have the same pride. You are graduating from an institution which is driven by inspiration, its philosophical inspiration. And as you know, sometimes we refer to so-called Ivy League universities. What are they? They are brands. Graduates graduate from such 
uh, universities have better chances in the society. I was touched when the Vice Chancellor was asking today's graduates as to where they work. Except two instances, all of them have got jobs, not just jobs, from very reputed organizations. Before even graduation, uh, graduating, what does this mean? That SLIT has created its own niche as a brand. So while being jealous of as alumni as Colombo University, while being a bit envious, which does not enjoy the same position in the society, and half of my probably uh, university graduates may be holding placards in front of uh, president's office asking for jobs. You have been privileged to receive reputed jobs or jobs from reputed organizations even before graduating. So in conclusion, I would say you have been driven by great people, a great institute. As a result, I should expect that you will be great graduates and doing great things, not just doing ordinary jobs, even while working for organizations, you can be creative every moment. Every solution has many, every problem has many solutions. That's how you can be creative. That's much you can be creative. So it doesn't mean that every one of you have to invent something. But every given minute, your organization is seeking uh, your creative input for the organization's betterment. So that's why you are being uh, hired to their organizations. So it is your duty to be extraordinary and give extraordinary solutions. Maybe it is a mundane job, but you can be different. So expecting you to be extraordinary, may I again thank this great institute and my friend Professor Lalit Gamage for inviting me and I wish you all the very best. Thank you.